Pacing around the room of my adolescent past, I thought to myself, oh no, oh no. If my entire outfit doesn't match head to toe, the precipice of my deep and sunken place, otherwise known as my subconscious beliefs, will in fact come to life, to actual fruition. I will be basic. So I spend the next gruesome hour finding the perfect combination of jewelry and hair and makeup to create the perfect celebrity-like entrance to life. Of course, this idea of perfection was never grafted through my own mind. It was never created with my opinion in seeing. It was never sold to me with my heart in mind, my intellect in mind, my groundedness and not even my womanhood in mind. So, I did what any teenager would do. I prayed to Aphrodite. I needed my ugliness, my basicness, my forgetfulness to be exercised permanently. What's so uncanny about this period of my life was the way my brain perfectly hid the beauty that extended from my own young consciousness, the rich fluorescent shadows and postures and insects and animals standing in the buildings and offices, a five-dimensional world, a shifting consciousness, a five-dimensional world, a shift in consciousness. The professor was speaking right in front of me and I could not even hear, see, smell, the sounds of their voice. That voice, the louder voice always seemed to set the standard then move the goalpost, promising that after spending thousands and thousands of US dollars that my demons will finally be exercised and I can go on to peace of entering the standard place in front of me. It promised to heal the thief in me, the thief of my joy. In other words, Swiper will in fact stop swiping, and my envy will dissolve like foundation in my cellar water. Please, Aphrodite, break me free of this boring world that sucks me dry of my time and money and happiness and purposeness and meaning and life and friends and family. Heal me, please. Bitterness is my landlord. I owe her my dues. I've made a carefully crafted, furnished home in her. She always reminds me that I have free will to leave. I tell her, but how? How could I just leave my fuel for life in the hands of who? In the hands of what? Love? She looks at me with the eyes of a teacher, with her star student, pure potential with compassion for the cuts in my arms and the quiver in my throat, salt water in the edges of my eyelids. She says, I know a person. Authenticity. At 21, a shift happened. Jesus, consciousness, my own will. A barrier in my mind was broken. A feeling of self-permission. Every giant book authority figure has lied to me in some way they have all judged me they've all moved the goalposts for their validation with smirks on their faces they all tried to contort me to their image of womanhood and none truly asked how do you feel their ideas of womanhood by default were wrong after all, woman is feeling. The best feeling about womanhood is feeling. So I vow deeply. So I vow deeply. And when I say deeply, I mean deeply. To use their validation to my favor. I can't escape the prison of superficiality designed to look like altruism. And I don't think the reality of, of completely abandoning these philosophies that govern money, politics, fame, and desirability. 
I may be an artist, but with a few strands of reality that I can gather in a ponytail, I know better than that. When the lampshade of beauty plugged into you as your own source, there's a never-ending supply of it. It starts to change the way you look. The textures of your conversations look and feel so different. You're in the position of desire. In Caroline Povacek's wise words, you may have even turned into desire itself. And in my woman, and in my womanhood, that is my dominant space. Desire my body, desire my hair, desire my clothes, desire my written word, desire my lovemaking, desire me like a pair of shoes in Nordstrom, just desire me. A luxury, not a need. I am. Something you so nicely sit at the top of the shelf. I am not limited only to my wedding day, my birthday. I am every moment like the juices flowing through my coursing electromagnetic field. A step above a feeling of love. Authenticity. So I decided to start doing some more poetry teaching kind of mixture of videos. I hope this felt good to listen to and you got what you needed from it. But I just wanted to let you know that I do have courses available down below for purchase. And please, if you like this community that I'm building, go ahead and hit a subscribe, share, like, comment, and you will see me again tomorrow.